Hey, what's up, friends? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If this is your first time, you're highly welcome. If you're a forex trader or someone interested in making money online, this is the place to be. Every weekend, like this, we share tips on the forex market, what we are expecting for the coming week, and we share all that for free. So stick around. If you're someone that's interested in making money online, this is the channel to be. This is the place to be. So, with that being said, let's get right into the video okay so i'm going to start by looking at um, pound usd in fact there are four areas i'm going to look at today i'm going to look at the trend as usual and i'm going to talk about the correlation between euro usd and gu right now then i'm also going to talk about the opportunities in the market that we can take advantage of right now then how you can also take advantage of these opportunities so if you like any of this stick around to the end don't miss any part of it so that you can make money in the coming week okay so i'm on pound usd monthly chart and as you can see um let me move this okay so as you can see we have a, a decline here and a pullback and this pullback was to about the 61.8 level let me zoom out so that you can see that very clearly. So I guess you can see it very clearly. So pound USD uh, has pulled back and it hit the 61.8 level. Um, I think that was just last week that it hit that level, just arrived there. And uh, just shortly after it hit it last month, this is a monthly chart, just after it hit it last month, it has been declining ever since then it has just been falling right all the way down since then and now it's approaching the 50 level at least that's the closest level beyond that beyond that level we have um maybe some resistance here but i'll talk about that in a moment but the closest thing that it seems to be doing right now is like i said it's going back to the um 50 level and if we check the 50 level from where it is right now uh, the 50 level is around 2.3 right now it's about it's around um, 2.6 so that's about about 300 pips drop so that we can anticipate from where it is right now looking at things from the monthly time frame now let's look at what's happening on euro usd i'm just giving us first of all i just want to start by giving us like a best eye view of the whole um, scenario. Okay, so now I think we can see the Euro USD better. I had a chart there in the smaller time frame, so it was blocking the view. So I just removed that. Okay, so on the monthly time frame on Euro USD, we can also see what played out there. There was um, that decline, then a pullback to about the 61.8 level. Now unlike a pound usd the moment it hits the 61.8 level you know just right about here that was last month this is the monthly chart it pulled back almost the rest of the month after hitting it and in this new month it turned around broke through the 50 um level and seems to be heading down to the 38.2 level now if we remove this and look at um how many pips that is from where it is right now the 38.2 level is about it's around them um, let's say about 5 1.0580 while where it is right now is about um let's say 1.0800 so just like the pound usd we can anticipate a drop of about 300 pips also on euro usd i wanted to make that very clear to us that on pound usd and euro usd there's a potential drop of about 300 pips that we can expect now just right about here just also like the euro usd just right about here you can see we have something like a support there and this is monthly so it's a support that we will have to like take note of so the support from where it's the market is right now the market is around um 800 the support level is about um 
let's say about six um let's say about six ninety six eighty something around there so that's about a hundred pips drop so in the short term we can expect about a hundred pips drop maybe in the next one or two weeks this is the direction i'm looking at for the market because at the moment i'm expecting further drops and i'll show you more about that in a moment the same is just similar to what is happening also in the pound usd because on the pound usd also if you look at this place here you will notice we also have a, a support just around there too and that support if we um, check our chart the distance the market right now is about it's around um, let's say 2.600 and um, that drop is at about let's say 4 444 or 450 so we are looking at for the pound usd a drop of roughly maybe 150 approximately so you know within that range of drop in the short term so these are the anticipations so now let's now go to the smaller time frames and look at how the market has been let me start by going to the daily time frame so for pound usd this is how the daily time frame has been you can see that on the pound usd daily time frame it has been it has been more or less quite a clear trend up down up down up down and the current decline that we have it's a clear downward trend on the pound usd daily now as a method of pullback we may see some maybe rise in the next few days then probably may be followed by further decline we can't say exactly but that is what one can anticipate however there's something i want to bring to our attention yeah this level here this level here that was broken you would notice that the market on daily time frame this particular day here actually um closed below this level closed below this level this is kind of key because if we go to a weekly time frame Okay, let me zoom out some more. So let me zoom out some more. Now, zooming out very well, you can see what's happening here on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, this was on pound USD. This was supposed to be like a support zone. But um, so far, we can see that this support zone, when the market got there, within these sections when it got there within those sections it's kind of stayed sideways you know struggling with it but finally it has broken through it that's the key thing i want us to take note of it has actually broken below that section right now and the last week actually closed even clearly below it that means the the closing price was below the low of this place Meaning that right now, more than ever before, we are in a strong bearish trend. The potential of this market pulling back up much here is minimal because of the way it closed. Instead, we are most likely to expect more declines and also fast in the coming few days. That's the direction I'm thinking for both the pound USD and euro USD. And you will see that. Uh, if I go to the euro USD, it's kind of like a similar thing. This is the euro USD on weekly chart. You can see this was a, a nice uh, turning point. Let me circle it. This was a nice turning point here, you know, for the weekly euro USD. But you can see that clearly this level here has broken through all of that and even closed way below that 
So the next likely target we'll be looking at is this zone here. This area here. This is going to be the likely target next that you'll be looking at for the market to get to before maybe um, slowing down. The trend is clearly very bearish. So this is weekly. So let me go back to the daily. I hope we're getting some value from this. If you are and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss this kind of analysis during the weekends. Okay, so back to... Okay, let me just quickly mention something on the Euro USD before I move. Um, there's something I'm suspecting in the Euro USD and uh, it's not so clear very well but if you put it on the daily chart let's see if i can see it on the daily chart although it's not so very clear on the daily chart but well it's not so clear anyway but I, 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 when i was looking at it um earlier on i almost felt like um, um the daily chart was like a, a five wave downward you know this move that we have here let me just show you well you can just keep this at the back of your mind if you don't fully understand it but if you do you understand exactly what i'm talking about this move here up down this zigzag move this is a corrective move then what i'm seeing right here this move like this is like an impulsive move and it being an impulsive move Usually, an impulsive move like this, it forms in five waves. And since it's in five waves, it will be trending in a particular direction strongly. So, we may actually be looking at that this move here is actually five waves downward. And if that's the case, then the momentum down that we have seen so far, we may not really see, if you're looking for... Um, scenarios whereby maybe the market may push up a little bit more before declining maybe something like this before declining you may not really be able to see more of that much of that because in a five wave decline like that there's a, a very good chance that if we're taking um maybe um this move here as wave one with um and Maybe like this as wave two, for example, this one, wave one, meaning that the move that we are seeing right now, this move that is happening right now, is like wave three. And if this move that is happening right now is like wave three, then trust me, you are not likely going to see uh, much pullbacks until probably the market gets to around this zone until probably it gets to this zone. Now, I'll be talking more about this on Tuesday in our live chat. So, if you're not yet um, in our uh, forest group, ensure you join, you see details to join in the description so you can join the group. And when we're doing that live trading section on Tuesday, you can easily participate and um, make the best of it. Okay. So, that's for that. So, um, how do you take advantage? Lastly, <laughs> These are the likely opportunities. How do you take advantage of it? Very, that's the next thing now. So for me, if you have been following me, you will know that I usually look at the daily chart, monthly chart, the bigger time frame. But I usually enter into the opportunities with like H4. So if we go to H4 time frame, what do we see on H4? Of course, so far H4 is also trending down. So, if you want to take advantage of some of the moves on um, H4, you could probably um, use them, um, probably maybe here as your stop loss. Let me put it there. Maybe here as your stop loss zone. You get then. Um, for now, I'll say you can almost enter into sell. You may, if you are not using them, you can use this high as your stop loss. But for now, my idea is take sell. You understand? Take sell trades. You can almost take a sell trade as soon as the market opens. Probably using this zone here as 
a stop. You understand why you are targeting um, about 100 pips decline. I think that's like the minimum, even though we're anticipating that the market will go down as low as 300 pips, where you can target probably 100 pips decline first. That's for those trading for it. So the trend is bearish on Euro USD and it's also bearish on pound USD. Mm -hmm. So that's the way you can take advantage of it for Euro USD. Let me go to pound USD in the same light too. So it's in the same light too, it's the same thing for pound USD. This zone here can be used as probably your potential stop, which is about a hundred pips at stop loss. Then you target take profit downwards of about hundred pips take profit. I think this zone here is about um, one point two seven. So that area can be like your stop. Then from where it is right now, it's about five seven. So you are targeting at this take profit. <laughs> Targeting take profit of at least um, 1.247, uh, at least something within that range, or even below, say, and 1.24, yeah, 7, around that can be your take profit. So you just do it like that, at least that's like a one to one. So you you could enter the, um, your first move like that. If the market pulls up a little bit, you know, that may now give you. An opportunity maybe if it begins to pull up a little bit you know that will give you an opportunity to enter to take some more um sales you know still targeting that it will decline further down so that's it for our weekly analysis video if you have comments suggestions and things like that please drop it in the comment section and i will gladly answer them thank you for watching see you next week